Hey, I'm Taz Williams Jr. and I got next. You next up and you ain't been on sports like talk like what are you doing? <laughs> hey, you better hit him up. Look, you breaking next and you up next. Keep the coins go hard. Rise a star on the big scene, make them know who you are. You don't break a sweat, don't set up for less. They put you through that test. Your resume that flex. Who got next? Who got next? SLT, ready to say go. Who got next? Who got next? Living my dreams and all your goals. Who got next? Who got next? You can ask B Jones or head coach. Who got next? Who got next? You next up, so here's my vote. Chill. Nation, welcome back to another fire episode of Sports Life Talks. You got next, a platform that gives exposure to the voices of tomorrow. We're talking to rising stars in our communities who are doing amazing things and accomplishing big dreams. And oh my goodness, somebody, future five star alert. We got one of the dopest ballers in the DFW area on the show. This is the first episode. I want to send a special shout out to this gentleman because we are going above and beyond for the rest of 2023 to really showcase some of the amazing local talent here in the DFW area. And we starting off with a big one. This kid, he's got 21 offers already. He probably going to be on, on ESPN here in the near future. All district first team out of Pittsburgh, PA, Red Oak. Stand up and represent Taz Williams Jr. to the set. How you doing, Taz? I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Man, how that feel like your, your name is like the dopest nickname ever already? <laughs> like, <laughs> 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 hey, we, I love that nickname. Hey, but check this out. If this is your first time joining the program, allow me to introduce myself. I am your host of Mouth. Of the South B. Jones, a true Louisiana, Mr. Yeet is in the building. I'm rocking alongside my partner in crime, my brother from another mother, the head coach, the architect, the guru, KT. Kev, how you feeling today, man? Man, B. Jones, if I was still working in Corsica Canada, it would probably been a problem right now having this young man on the show because we've had <laughs> multiple problems with Red Oak. They, they put out quality athletes and, man, we were just talking backstage about the young man, the track star who used to whoop us. But, you know, I'm, I'm good, B. Jones. I'm, I let that go. I've moved on. I've grown as an individual and as a man. Let's do this, B. Well, I had I had to bring the maroon out for all my red I, 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 had, I had to bring it out because I was like, my guy, my guy is off the chain. Y'all got to go watch his huddle. Highlights is absolutely crazy. But with that being said, Taz, we got to pay the bills. We're going to get into your story real quickly here. We're going to let everybody know how dope you is. But uh, if this is your first time rocking with us again, thank you. We're going to keep on saying thank you. If you've been rocking with us, welcome back. But at this point in time, we want to pay, uh, pay the bills and we want to all of our new listeners people that's checking out this platform to on the count of three we're gonna do it big we're gonna do it major we need you to smash that subscribe button all right smash the subscribe button smash the like button on the count of three show us some love let's keep this amazing momentum of 2023 rolling strong you hear me strong here we go one two three Ooh. Welcome to the Sports Life Talk family Around here we don't do fans, we don't do followers We do family And you are now for, a part, officially a part of our family My new play cousin Alright, Taz, you ready to go to work? You, hey, it's, yeah, it's third and seven It's third and seven They got you lined up in that slot What, what you finna do with it, man? You ready for the initiation? You finna burn them? Yeah, All right, let's, let's, put that, <laughs> let's put that work in. Taz Williams Jr., welcome to the Sports Life Talk Initiation. All right, to initiate you into the SLT family, you got to give us your top five music artists. Uh, number one, I got Lil Uzi. Two, Ooh. I like Raw Wave. Three, mm, it'll be probably NBA Youngboy. Four, probably Rallo. I about Regas. Five is no cap. I've not ever heard of No Cap, and I've not heard of uh, Rodriguez. You got to send me some tracks, all right? All right, Taz. Yeah, after we yeah. get off this, you got to send me some tracks so yeah. I can go. I can check them, get them cats out. 
But Kevin, you got a challenge ahead of you because I know you ain't know half of that. So I don't know how you go. Well, no, I didn't know the last two. I knew the other one. Be nice try. Okay. Though. Okay. All right. I'm just right, saying. You know, so you know. What we normally do, we uh, try to give you five mics based on your, your five recommendations. And you have a truly young person's top five. So what we're going to do, I've been, and here's the thing. I've been really generous in 2003. I mean, 23. And then keep in mind, he's going to be a five star, KT. Yeah, well, that that changes things too. So he's gonna be a five star. So we got to weigh all that in. So I'm not gonna give you less than five. You ain't worried about that. Give him, give him eight, B. Joe. We gonna give him eight. Give him eight. Boom. And it was no cap. We knew nothing about that either. So that that was <laughs> that, that was a good one. All right. So you put us on to some new stuff. So SNT Nation, go check them out. All right. So who is your favorite superhero and why? Uh, probably Superman. Uh, I liked them since I was younger. I, I mean, I liked the blue and the red combination for real when I was younger. It just always stuck for real. Kevin, Kevin, what 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 programs were blue and red? Louisiana Tech? Nah, that's too it's too small. We gonna we gonna have to think who Fresno. Ah, uh, we gonna come up. We gotta find a team that wear blue and red. What so, about uh, blue, blue and orange? You know, it's a team in Florida. Oh, oh, blue and orange, yeah, man. <laughs> he, he ain't going to play in the swamp, KT. He not playing in the swamp. <laughs> They, they don't even honor their NIL deals down there, Kevin. Y- y'all trying to give Taz a $13 million NIL deal that fall through and he end up somewhere else. No, we're not well, doing it. got to watch the kind of music he listens to. That's all it is. All right, so since every good superhero needs their own theme music, what would your theme song be? Uh, it'll probably be Finito by Chief Keith. Hey, I like that Chief Keith, though. I, I ain't never heard of Finito, but that's uh, what you, you you like them Chicago rappers, Chief Keith, yeah, yeah, like, yeah like K- her, King yeah. Bond, yeah, and, and those Chicago rappers different, but that Chief Keith, now you know he be he be doing stuff in the streets for real, yeah, you know nah. Chief Keith on that he on that level. So. Oh well, with that said, hey Chief <laughs> Keith, we, we love you, man. We rocking with you. Nothing everything. bad about Chief Keith, not on this program. <laughs> now that you put it that way, now nah, man, we rock with you very hard. All right, so if you could shadow anyone for a week. And learn from them. It could be they could be either dead or alive. Who would it be and why? Uh, it would probably be LeBron James, just because he's the best basketball player in the nation to me. The world, yeah, yeah, in the world, the world, yeah, the world, and like how he just keep his body right and just focus on the main goal. I want to learn. (laughs) Taz, that's that's huge that you say that, young man, because we were I was in a debate not too long ago, and that's that's what this is about, right? LeBron's been playing for 19 years because he kept his body right. Like yeah. he, he treated his body like something totally different. And uh and that's why he's had this amazing career breaking all of these records. So mm-hmm. excellent point. I like that. All right. So if you're thinking about hitting that subscribe button, please do leave us your top five, your theme song, and your favorite superhero in our comments. On behalf of the LCT Nation, I want to welcome Taz to our family. So, B. Jones, take it away, brother. Taz, man, I grew up with a uh, a cartoon. It was it was uh, the 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 this Tasmanian devil that was chasing around this little road runner. You ever seen that cartoon? Where it got it's a, it's just weird. Is that <laughs> is that, is that <laughs> what we can expect out of your game, Taz? Oh uh, yes, sir. a lot. Yeah. Uh, I like it. I like it, All right, man. So let's take this thing back. Now you from Pittsburgh originally. When did mm-hmm. you uh, when did you move down here to Dallas, Texas? I moved to Dallas five years ago. I, okay. I was oh, that moves with my dad, yeah. my stepmom. Okay. Well, when did you start playing football, Taz? Uh, I've been playing ever since I was five years old. And when, when did you fall in love with football? Because this is a this is a gladiator sport, right? You got to be a warrior to play football. When did you When did you fall in love with this beautiful game? Uh, it was probably after it was probably my eighth grade season because I had took a year off. I was still like thinking and questioning for real. Then I. Could, I came back for eighth grade and I just loved it. I just I wanted to play it like ever since. Wait, 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 so that's that's interesting. I, I I didn't you know you think about so many kids. You at this 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 you know this point where you got to make a decision left or right, mm-hmm. and you chose to come back to the game. But why why did you take like what made you decide to say yeah I'm a, I'm gonna go forward with it because like look at the future now you one of the best players in the nation and uh, mm-hmm. and and that almost you know what I'm saying that almost wasn't the case. If you yeah. had decided to kind of stay out of the game, so what made you decide to come back? Uh, I was just bored. Like to be honest, I had nothing to do, <laughs> and I realized that I'm like, uh, I really miss it. I just start playing. I start That's playing. What's up. 
Well, well, well clearly man you, you got 21 offers and, and y'all we ain't talking about just Texas you know Wesleyan or nothing like that type of offer shout out to Texas Wesleyan but I'm saying you got some real offers brother I'm talking yeah. about the best programs in the nation already saying they want you to come to their school so w- w- what about your game when did you realize you was different man when did the game slow down for you out there on the football field uh, it's probably the 8th grade season again so I had started training with uh, Morgan Hooks my receiving trainer and he just taught me so much and it just started to slow down and I just seeing it stuff uh, happen very slowly and like play by play what, what part of your game do you like to accentuate that if somebody said you know man because because I'm gonna tell you something I'm, I'm kind of getting them Justin Jefferson vibes I don't know why I think I think you would look perfect in that purple and gold down there on the bayou you know what I'm saying that the NFL offensive player of the year type vibe that's that's what I'm getting right now out of Taz Williams Joe but you know I, I digress but what what part of your game do you like to focus on and do you like to pride yourself on uh, probably my route running in my hands so you ain't got that then you ain't a receiver Taz, I got to ask you. Now, like I said, those who are my age, you know, middle-aged people, we we grew up with the Tasmanian double bear, you know, just wild and crazy. You got the coolest, calmest demeanor, man. You just like, hey, throw me the ball. Throw me the ball, <laughs> dude. Let me go get that touchdown. Let me go get that thing, man. So so when, when is, does, this, does, this, does this demeanor click on and off? Or does it, when them lights come on, is it, do I see a different Taz? Uh, I'm basically the same. It's just a little bit more. Oh, like on the field, I'm a little bit more like hyped up compared to now, but I'm basically much the same. On the if, field. So, so I get if I could get three of your teammates in a room right now, and I say, "Man, y'all tell me about Taz Williams Jr." What are they gonna say about you, Taz? They're gonna say I'm funny, I'm chill, <laughs> and just I'm just fired life at a party for real. All right, so so let's flip that around. What if we get Coach Margin on the phone? On the phone, what is he gonna say? What Coach Margin gonna say about, about you? Uh, he probably gonna say the same thing. Probably gonna say the same thing. Probably gonna I just say I'm a chill person. Now, so so uh, whatever school gets you, you still got you still got two more years. That and that's what's really crazy. You got two more years to kind of set some records and, and make history at Red Oak. But what what as you go through this recruitment process, what what is a coach getting out of out of out of Taz Williams Jr. What are you bringing to the team? Uh, I'm gonna bring a very versatile player. I can play offense, defense. I can play anywhere on the offense. So you can have that. You can throw me in the field, wherever. I can play that. And I was gonna get a good player on and off the field. Ain't gotta worry about me getting in trouble because I don't do that. So I'm <laughs> that. Well, you you six one already. Now, mm-hmm. do you do you, are the doctors telling you you might get any taller? Because you're still only sixteen years old. So you got mm-hmm. you're still in a growth spurt. Are you gonna get any taller? Or what are you thinking? Uh, I don't even know, but I'm good. Where my six one is good. Because when I was younger, I wanted to be just six foot. I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> hey, six six one, you made. It. Hey, I'm good. I can yeah, blaze y'all at six one. I'm I'm gonna work you over at six one, man. So I know uh, this is a, this is a critical summer for you. P- part of the whole five star atmosphere and all of that stuff is going to these camps, right? And you got to go do seven on sevens and got to go to these rivals and two four seven and on three camps, man. Do you got anything lined up for yourself? Over the summertime that uh, that you plan to attend? Uh, got a couple of schools I'm trying to hit up. And I'm just training to work on my 40 time. For real, for real. All right. Well, let's talk about recruiting because 21 offers ain't too shabby. Is mom and dad already tired of the, the phone calls coming in? Nah. nah with the not schools, they, they're not tired of, they're tired of uh, Coach Saban calling the house. And <laughs> what, what's Taz eating right now? What, what time, is Taz out of the bath? That's out the shower yet? <laughs> 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 they they not tired of that shit, man. So nah, tell us yet. what the recruitment process has been like for you. You enjoying it? Is it becoming overwhelming? What is nah, it like for I'm you? Loving it. Oh, no, I'm loving really? It. I want this, yeah, yeah. So uh, so what campuses have you been able to go check out so far? Uh, been at Texas A and M, Texas, Baylor, SMU, and I think that's it right now. Yeah. Dang, so you 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 making your rounds in Texas already. Yeah. Now, do, now, now, if you had a preference, hey, the future coaches, this is just us talking. This is just God talk right now. But if you had your preference, is there any part of the country you want to go back up to the Northeast? Or is there any any uh, locate you don't mind leaving the state of Texas? Or you, you want to go Southeast? It don't matter. I don't matter. I go anywhere. West, North, South, East, West. It don't matter. You just about busting heads. <laughs> you just me. Hey, hey, this boy a killer. You, this boy a ninja. We got we got John Wick on this thing. This, he don't care. He just say, hey, I'm ready to go. So what are you looking for in the school? What, what are you looking forward to? I'm heavy like on relationships, to be honest, because I want you to be there for me. 
like in case something happens so i need somebody to come to i need somebody that has a good relationship with my family yes and somebody that's, uh, really take me serious and i just want me there but just because i'm a five star or something i just i really want to be there just because like you want me there now uh now going up north you know it's some great programs michigan yeah. ohio state but you got to play in that cold weather are you adverse to playing in cold weather or you you you, you like been angry. my whole life. i've been playing in my whole life you see that's I'm why i'm hey, taz i can't mess with that cold weather <laughs> I, 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 one, time, one time i got hit with a ball in the hand in the cold weather i thought my hair was gonna fall off man I, I, <laughs> y'all, y'all crazy up there in that north so tell us a little bit about taz off the field man are you uh are you part of any type of clubs at school student body any volunteer work any community services i mean tell us a little bit about the student part of the student athlete uh i'm really not in nothing like after school i just uh i got practice go home do my work <laughs> you a football player <laughs> yeah. like hey man the south i ball right now i play yeah. football man i'm volunteering all my services to these thousand catches so <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Hey man, what about the GPA? How how the grades looking? Because you know that's gonna play a part when it comes to some yeah. of these schools like Stanford, mm-hmm. Oklahoma, Virginia. Some of these schools got high standards uh, as far as academics. How how are you looking in the, in the classroom? It was great. I had all A's and one B. I was mad about that B though. I had all A's and one B. Well, what class was the B in? Spanish. <laughs> Oh, now, you know, I can let you ride with that one. I can, I can, that's that's a tough that's a tough one to uh, to learn a, a total different major. So yeah. now, when you go to school, the school of your choice, I know you say it don't matter. I know you open right now. But uh, is, is there a particular major or is there a particular focus of what you want to do when the ball stops? Right. You know, mm-hmm. eventually you stop playing football. and You got to have a career after that. Is there is there a particular major that you want to focus on as you go to the next level? Well, I was still like uh, thinking about that and looking around. But it was like around like sports medicine a little bit. But I'm still thinking. All right, man. So let's take this thing back to Red Oak. Shout out. What what are, what are y'all the the Eagles, Redbird, uh, uh, Red Bird, no, the Hawks. Hawks? Okay. We got Hawk Nation. So let's take this thing back to Hawk Nation. Now you got two years looking at you. Mm-hmm. Is is this team gonna be ready? Because I'm gonna tell you, sports like Talk Nation, we coming out this fall, brother. We coming to see you ball. We're gonna show up in that stadium and we wanna see you do your thing. But man, what 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 is uh what does Hawk Nation look like as far as a football team? Y'all some dogs? Yeah, yeah, of course. Of course, everybody on the team is. Hey, y'all expected to win the state, or what? What, what can yes, we sir. expect out of this team? Yes, sir. Kevin, yeah, you just a good kid. Yes, <laughs> yes, you just a good kid, Taz. Taz, say yes, sir. Yes, sir. We we go we go win state. We go win it all. All right, Taz. You sixteen year old. I know sixteen year olds can eat whatever they want to and burn it off in the next minute and a half, man. So you got to tell us what is what is the snack of choice for Taz Williams Jr. Uh, it'll probably be some double stuff Oreos. <laughs> you got you gotta have the two layers of cream though right hey man I, I actually fell in love with with oreos again over the last like two months i don't know what happened my wife bought some home and now i'm crazy about oreos again so i might have to get on that double stuff wave with your brother but uh but with that being said it's time for me to uh double stuff kt Welcome to the championship rounds, Taz. This is the part of the show where you are now officially calling all the shots. While me and Kevin, we go one versus one. Have you ever played Would You Rather before? Yes, sir. All right. all right. So the rules are going to be very simple. Uh, Kevin and I will both will make a pitch to you. You select one of those pitches. Whichever one you select, that host will gain a point. The first host to get two points or the best out of three will win this episode's game of championship rounds. We don't keep score no more because, it, you know, our relationship was waning, but uh, <laughs> it was getting too serious. But I will say that Kevin is the defending champion right now. So uh, so we're going we gonna to let KT kick this thing off and we'll go from now all right taz would you rather get the game winning pick six that gets red oak to the uh, state title game or or would you rather get be in the state final game and get the game tying td reception with uh, red oak has to win it in ot did i say that correct did i say it right okay so in mine you in the state championship game you get the game time TD reception, and now y'all got to go win it in overtime. But with mine, your game winning pick six gets you to the state game. Yep. Uh, I'll probably go with the game time. 
Uh, touch now because he hey because you got hands that's why well he you got hands on the defensive end too b jones if he doesn't get that pick six, they don't get to the state Taz, well, you can tell who ain't watched your highlights video well this is wide receiver db, DB. we can both go I wide receiver on the question i understand it's wide receiver db this was a five-star wide receiver i don't know if any if any school call you talking about defensive back they better say hey, we're gonna let you play some defensive back in a in a, you, in a secondary package or something Good selection, though. That's right. We're making the game time touchdown. Here we go. Round number two. Would you rather be a role player on a national championship caliber squad or become an All-American player and you're a player of the year candidate, but you're on an up-and-coming team? So basically, y'all ain't getting no Ws. Yeah, but you a getting all the recognition, though. Everything you is going towards star. you. Superstar. Yeah, superstar. You set up for the NFL. you going to get your bread. But with mine, you're going to be on a national championship team. You're going to get rings, but you're going to be a role player. Mm, I'll probably be the All-American. All-American. I'll go there. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, you know, that locker room going to be sad, man. So I guess you are going to Florida. All right. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So for round three. Well, first of all, on our show, which you can watch Wednesdays at 8 p.m. Central right here on this YouTube channel, we have the drop and we introduce the newest shoes that are coming out. So for round three of our championship rounds, we're going to present Taz with two pair of shoes. Whichever one he picks that host wins this episode's game. So, Taz, we need for you to give us a countdown. Count us down from three. Three, two, one, go. Mm. I, I've fallen in love with these fours lately. All fours are just these are the topes. You got the cracked, the crack leather at the front, man. Some different, some hard. Yeah, but you know these cherries, they go hard too. And, and, and everybody, and their mama got them cherries. Yeah, but this ain't about everybody, and their mama. It's about Taz. See, that's why I hate when you add extra stuff. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right, Taz, which one you going with? You got one pal. I'm going to go with the four. I feel like the cherries is outplayed. Like, everybody got ah. Yeah! And new heavyweight champion of the world. Man, I got that belt back. Taz, yeah, I'm, wearing this, I'm wearing this belt to the game, Taz. We got to get it to the metal detector. So nice try. After, after, after the make game, sure I'm going to let you in. take a picture with it, Taz, because I am the new champion. Thank you so much, Taz Williams Jr. All right, man, enough of the fun stuff. Well, the title of the show is Sports Life Talks. You got next, Taz. Everybody want to know now that they rocking with you on Twitter, at Taz underscore 1X, future five-star, future All-American. What does the future hold for you in your own opinion, Taz? I don't even know. I just got to see when they come. All right, man. So, so I need to go and call Brian Kelly. Let me go and get BK on the phone, man, so we can get this, so we can get this NIL deal worked out. <laughs> Whatever. Hey, you know what? Have you thought about some of the NIL deals, man? You thought about what that's going to potentially look like? It's going to be life-changing money here in the next couple of years for you. I know. I've been thinking about that. I know. I know, man. Hey, you, yeah, just, you know, we'll talk, we'll talk off air about that Bugatti you go going to get. All right, man. All right, KT. Let's. <laughs> All right, Taz. <laughs> You have any shout outs you want to give? Uh, I want to give a shout out to my dad, my mom, my head coach, and my receiver trainer. All right, so this is the part of the show where you get a chance to call the person that you think should have next. Tell them, hey, I got a chance to rock with B. Jones and KT. I told them my story. I want you to do the same thing. With that said, Taz, who are you giving your game ball to? Uh, probably my teammate, Braden Robinson. That's, that's, the, that's the track guy, ain't it? Yeah, fast one, yeah. All right, is Braden Braden Robinson? He played football too. Yes, he's a receiver. Ooh, is is he getting the same? Is he getting some attention and accolades too as a receiver? All right, sir. He, he just uh, he got first team all district like me. He had picked up a couple offers. God, yeah, he's a freshman. B. He's a freshman. Can, you, can y'all believe that? Like these boys got these two dogs on the out. Oh my goodness! I can't wait to get to Red Oak and see the Hawks play. But Taz Williams Jr. Hey, well, Braden, we're gonna be reaching out to you. We're gonna get you on the show. We got to tell your story. Taz Williams, you are dope, man. You the truth. Hey, you a warrior. You transcended. You a trailblazer. Bright future ahead of you, man. You got next. Sports Life Talk Nation. 
The five star legacies continue. We got some more heat coming your way. Season three has already been on. We got, look, look, look at this. This I can't wait. Jazz, we're going to get you back in like in a year or two so you can come back and we can give an update on you, man. When you at that point in time, you're going to be about six, two and a half. Nah, just, just, <laughs> you're going to get a little taller. But uh, but listen, man, we got to have you back. Y'all, this thing is bananas. We need y'all support. If y'all see us out in these streets, please come come give me dap. Come show me some love. We want to meet everybody out there in the DFW area. The takeover is happening right now. This high school scene out here, this amateur athletics is crazy. It's the best talent in the world. And we're going to bring them all to you right here on this platform all right that's our guarantee to you we're gonna work hard please smash that subscribe button smash that like button share this amazing episode with your friends tell them about it let's make this kid go nationwide let's let's take this video and make it go viral and uh and come hang out with us every wednesday night eight o'clock p.m central standard time uh we go live on youtube and it is more than just a sports show we talk sports we talk life we create the conversation sports life talk you heard me come hang out with us come be a blessing and uh, I don't know, Kevin, what am I missing, man? I tried to show some, like, you know, unity and everything with Red Oak, and then Taz just comes here and just crushes my, my dreams in the championship round. Talking bad about my 11s. You know how long I wanted these shoes, but, hey, this isn't, <laughs> this isn't about me. It's about you, man. So thank you so much for rocking with us. Whatever you need from us, man, please let us know. We got your back. And what, what he said he was that no cap. Ain't that what was his fourth person? Yeah, no cap. Um, yeah, yeah. I like the little Uzi, though. I like the little Uzi. Hey, Sports Life Talk Nation, Red Oak, we love y'all. Stay safe, be blessed, respect each other, and love one another because together we are better and keep dreaming big because you never know. Your story may be the next one featured on Sports Life Talks. You got next. Yeet. See what's crazy is I knew you had next because you always working, you always grinding, you're in your bag because you're always working. Like in due time, I just, I knew you got next. Oh, you did it, huh? Crack the code. You got next, you smashing goals. You want next, you need exposure. Well, sports like talk out the baddest show, like the baddest hut in the room. Podcast the tune into just for you to talk your shit. Talk your mushroom. You want what you eat and you should consume. Sports like talk from the late night to the afternoon, then rest repeat. Hit the like, leave a comment, or subscribe so you don't miss a beat. You got next, just a small taste of a winning meal from a chef type of celebrity. What's up next is you, at least you better be. Yeah, you got next, yeah. I can feel it.